Our dream was submitted by a listener who is a 30-year-old female, and she works as a long-term care assistant, and she is training to be a death doula. And here's her dream. I was at my childhood cottage, and there were quite a few people there, including my family and some strangers. An unknown young couple came across the lake on a tandem bicycle, and I was mystified as how they had ridden a bicycle on water. The most vivid part of the dream was when I was up on the deck of the cottage, and from up high, I could see a pink piglet scooting along the bottom of the shallow lake, trying to reach the shore. I ran down to the water, jumped in, and the piglet reached out to me, which I felt deeply touched by. I pulled it out of the water, and it was shocked to see that its whole chest and belly were slit clean open down the middle. There was no blood, and suddenly I realized It was some kind of animatronic pig. I could see some of the metal parts inside. I just didn't want to believe it. And I felt so disappointed, or even betrayed for some reason. Maybe because I had already felt such an emotional connection while saving the piglet. I walked towards the cottage with the piglet, and the dream ended, I woke up. The dreamer adds as context, They are just now settling down after several months of big changes, moving across the country, a new job in a new field, living alone for the first time, completing my death doula apprenticeship, etc. She writes the main feelings in the dream were fear, sadness, confusion, disappointment, and insecurity. And she adds a bit more explanation. The dream also featured an ex who left with his wife near the beginning of the dream. I had a secret and extremely difficult relationship with him that is still affecting me a lot. My recent move brought me back into proximity with him, and that has brought up old patterns and deep wounds. So just uh, for context, I I just happen to know what a death doula is. So there is a a, um, a, a field that is emerging of people who are very interested in how to create a certain context and atmosphere around people who are in the active dying process. And so people who are interested in this will often find various um, opportunities to be mentored. It, it's, it's almost like an aspect of hospice, although it's not rather official. Mm-hmm. So a death doula might literally come to the bedside, um, educate the family on what to expect if they wish to be present during the act of dying of someone. Um, they might uh, arrange music. They might arrange other things in the environment to create a quality of peace and presence, and it is fundamentally founded on the idea that the active dying process of the individual is sacred, should not be avoided, Mm -hmm. and is something that is deeply and powerfully important to the person who is dying, rather than simply Mm -hmm. escaping, as we often do in the Western world and being frightened, the death doulas, like midwives, lean in to try to hold the psyche of the person Mm -hmm. who is preparing to die. That's um, really helpful and lifts up for me uh, one of the themes of the dream about crossing that a death doula helps someone cross, cross over, cross from living into dying. Right. And into the unknown of 
you know, then what? Well, we don't really, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But it's a crossing. And in the dream, uh, we have crossings. There are people that have crossed the lake uh, on a tandem on a tandem bicycle, and then there is this uh, piglet that is also crossing. But this piglet is crossing uh, under the water, uh, and we have in uh, external world waking life. Uh, there is the crossing that the dreamer herself has just made of uh, moving across the country to a new job and back in proximity with her ex-boyfriend. So there's a lot of transition going on at every level. I, I really love how you highlighted the idea of the crossing because that, that mm. is so powerful and so substantive in the streamer's life in so many different ways. I think that's just a perfect um, stance for the dream. So she's at her childhood cottage, and there's lots mm -hmm. of people there, family and strangers. So I often imagine that when people are starting the dream in uh, in a setting like the family cottage, I'm imagining that the dream is somehow working on the family complex or working on the yes. child complex in some fashion, mm -hmm. trying to make some progress around it. And from within the context of the child complex, a mysterious unknown couple on a tandem bicycle Mm -hmm. have this paranormal ability to just ride across the water. So a tandem bicycle, for those who are not familiar, you don't see them that frequently, but they are um, mm. basically two bicycles that have been, I guess, merged together. So um, two people can sit on this one structure, one in the front mm -hmm. managing the handlebars and one in the back, kind of just stabilized, and both of them are pedaling on the same chain. So there's four legs moving the rear wheel forward, and uh, people get to have a chance to be uh, close to each other, and in the same kind of unified, coordinated mm -hmm. effort. Yeah, it's a great image of two. Mm -hmm. Of two ness, um, the the bicycle built for two. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. So, uh, and I'm putting that together with um, the comment in uh, explanations of her ex boyfriend has a wife. And it says, the dream also featured the ex who left with his wife near the beginning of the dream. Right. Uh, she had a secret relationship. So it's interesting that that's not in the dream. It's in the explanation right. of the vanished twosome, the ex and his wife, and then this magical bicycle built for two uh, riding on top of the water of, of, of people coming uh, across the lake. One of the uh, things I'm picking up just from your associations around the crossing, that um, part of the death doula process is to be in tandem with someone as they are crossing. Uh -huh. So uh, yes. it's also an image that kind of works for that, that she and person who is dying, I imagine mm -hmm. it's perhaps sitting in the front seat, are, are both working in tandem to move to move mm -hmm. to the next shore successfully. Yeah. And uh, in that way, it's a rather wonderful glimpse at a, at a mm -hmm. symbolic or metaphoric way of looking at it. Yeah. So it's interesting the juxtaposition of connection and separation that the death doula is there with or in tandem with the person who is dying. Right. 
And the goal is separation. Exactly. That and once the other shore is reached, the person dying is, right. is on their own there in the next journey. Right. Uh, and I think that's being played out here, that there's this magical bicycle mm -hmm. that can be ridden, ridden on water. Uh, and then we have this mysterious pink piglet running along the bottom of the lake. The piglet reaches out, and our dream ego feels deeply touched. Then it's, she sees its chest and belly slit open, but no blood. And then she realizes it's really a mechanical, it's not a living creature. I don't know if I can pronounce animatronic. Okay, I managed. There you go. Okay. Um, so, so there's the disappointment of hoping for the connection with the living thing. Uh, but, and, and the instinct and the passion to reach out to, to save it. And, uh, of course, that can't happen because... It's not a living thing. So our dream ego winds up alone mm -hmm. and disappointed uh, by the thing that looked like it had life but does not. So she, there's something on the surface of the water which uh, is mm -hmm. visible and miraculous. And then there's something mm -hmm. mysterious under the water or deeper in the unconscious, which is also moving towards the shore, much like the bicycle. I have this fantasy that, you know, they're kind of keeping pace with the other, that the bicycle's kind of on top and the little piglet is right under it, <laughs> you know, on the ground. It's not in the <laughs> dream, but it's how I want to organize it. But the piglet is the thing that looks like it's at risk. They're doing fine on the bicycle. She's not worried about them drowning, yeah. for instance. But the thought that a live piglet is is drowning, ostensibly, and uh, she's rushing in to save what she thinks is at risk to help it. And um, it, even though it might seem to be reaching out to her in need, it's actually simply a, a machine. It's kind of uh, moving along. So there's. Some, we could say it's something hmm. about um, a need for greater discrimination. How does one discriminate, you know, a living thing from um, something that is not living, uh, even if they mm -hmm. somehow look the same? Um, where is her compassion rightly centered, and where is her compassion perhaps something that's more about sentimentality? Um, mm. that it's almost that something has kind of tricked her into being worried that something is suffering, which of course isn't suffering. So there's discernment is somehow being evoked here. And I, I'm going back to maybe the, the impetus, the urge, the dedication uh, to connection, and then uh, against all odds, of I mean, of course, a pig uh, cannot run across the bottom of of a lake that's filled with water. Right. And uh, and I'm putting this together with uh, being a death doula. On the one hand, you connect with a person who's dying. But on the other, you let them go. Mm -hmm. But it feels like in this dream, the energy is all about connecting. Uh, and that it's important to connect with this pig. There's no other position here. And it's not real. Any more than riding a bicycle on water is real. Uh, but the, the urge to connect is so powerful. And I wonder about, you know, as you often call it, the medicine in the dream. Mm -hmm. That the medicine in the dream may be the disappointment that this thing has a slit in its belly and there's no blood and it's awful and, oh, 
it's not even alive. Mm-hmm. And what in our dreamer's life is no longer alive that she nevertheless reaches out to and, and hopes to connect with? So this could be the, the relationship, perhaps, with that fellow that she's still trying to sort out what it meant to her and how it's affecting her now that she's back mm-hmm. in the physical proximity that the piglet in that way could be the kind of repetitive, almost mechanical way that certain memories will mm-hmm. um, run over and over again, like a perseverating machine yeah. over and over again, but yeah. may not actually have a true life of their own, but are really just mm-hmm. kind of movie scripts. We were just running over and over again. Mm-hmm. I think I'm I'm taken with the idea of the death doula. I, I have a friend who does this work, so it it I prioritizes in my psyche. But if I were also to think about that, there is this lifeless machine that's just kind of scurrying along at the bottom of the water, which uh, evokes a lot of compassion. But there's something on the top that's miraculously in the tandem bike moving above the water. I, I wonder if this is a way that the psyche is trying to help her organize an attitude about the dying. For many death doulas, there there really is a clear sense that the body is a kind of machine which is running down, Mm. which is um, breaking down, and that there is a spirit, there is the consciousness inside that is vibrant and alive and on the move that is that is getting ready to leave the machine of the body and go on its own journey so mm. i'm imagining this having worked in a hospital and and seen people actively die um that to see the body go through the active dying process, it's very difficult to separate out what the body is doing and what it needs Mm. versus what consciousness may be experiencing. And so this separation in the dream of the mechanics of the form versus the life, the tandem life, on the surface of the water that is basically flying. Mm. It's, you know, it's able to float above things. Mm. And that when she puts her compassion into saving the mechanics of the body, that there's, and she feels like she's kind of missed something, that, that her, her um, prioritization of the machine of the body might be misplaced, mm. and that mm. it might have been more fruitful for her to be more curious about the the spirit on the tandem bike that is on a mm. journey across the surface of the water. Um, mm. Just a possibility. Yeah. I think, in a way, uh, this dream is all about where is the life? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It's, it's not on the bottom of the lake with the mechanical piglet. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure about the tandem bike. My guess would be something off there that it's on the surface of the water. Mm-hmm. There is life in the work around helping someone die mm-hmm. for her. And where is the life in her uh, new life of the geographic move? Um, where's the life? And as you said before, the, the question of discernment, uh, which is always a question for all of us about all kinds of things. Yes. Mm. Yes, and as she looks from the high place in the cottage, from on top, she has this broader perspective, so there's a lot of information 
from the skybox, as you say, Deb. Yes. Yeah. And, and having all that information, it's still a challenge to know, as you said, what's the priority among the many things that I'm able yeah. to see from the objective position.